the organ here, VIP boxing down at Garford at uh, Josh Waddington's gym. Uh, we're about to chat to young Levi Smith. Levi, how are you doing, mate? I'm all good, thank you very much. That was good, good, that, because I got your name right and I keep getting everyone else's wrong. But Levi, if I get Levi Smith wrong, I'm, I'm not very good, am I, mate? <laughs> um, not after but, this long. <laughs> but Levi, uh, a great opportunity for you. And I, I want to find out how has this happened because you've been waiting for a day. I, I was at your last fight. You fought um, Tony Morton uh, on a Weatherby show. It was um, uh, uh, Henry Wharton shows. And uh, you got a nice little four round in the bank. And it was just a little shade ring rust off, make sure everything was ready. Because about three weeks later, you was on a fight for the central area against Lewis Wood. Yeah, less two. It been was it? It would have been two weeks, but less than two weeks really, to right. short of two, whatever it was it was, but um, <clears throat> I got a phone call, well I never got the phone call, my dad got the phone call, um, Steve rung my dad. I think Lewis injured himself. Something like that, or did he come with a virus or something? Well, like that? Something like that, it was either his hip or I, I can remember, yeah. but he missed out on it, he, he was gutted himself. I, I was gutted because I was wanting to watch that fight. Cause I remember getting the, the phone call for it, because I was supposed to be doing the six. Well, they said eight, and uh, we said, oh, well, we'll do a six, can't get, can't get an eight round, I can't yeah. find anyone to do the eight round. So we said, all right then. Uh, so I was matched up to six, and I said, right, we'll do a four round it. Bigger and better things here, two weeks time. Do you want to step in and fight for Central Area against Lewis Wood? So I was buzzing for it, and then got a cup myself. I thought, we'll have to keep that glue and watch up for that. Mm -hmm. Lewis got uh, a virus or injury or, or whatever. And then I was waiting for, well, I was, I was meant to fight, fight Lewis, and then all of a sudden, Frack Ali fights Lewis Wood. Yeah. I was, well, devastated with that, because I was waiting for that. And then, um, and now it was supposed to be Frack fighting, is it? Um, uh, Adam Rasul. <coughs> and now... He's pulled out, Ibn Nudim's going to be fighting him. Yeah. And, and then Lewis Wood is now fighting for the English title against Josh Holmes on the same night, which is the night after you fight over in Dubai, which is where I've come to catch up with you, because is it the Agenda Arena in Dubai on the 15th? I'm not too sure. <laughs> well, that's, that's what I've got down here. So that's what you I, I, I don't know. I think it's right. I'm hoping it's right. And you've got an opponent, and I'm going to pronounce it, but I'll get it wrong. Mustafa Mohammed Fahim Kusam, I think. Four and oh. Kusam. 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 Yeah. I don't know. Do An Egyptian. Know, I am. Um, do you know something, uh, Lee? I, 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 quite the truth, I tend, if I've got my fight, I've got my fight, I look. That's all you boxer, care about. If they're a fighter, yeah. tall, short, or whatever, I watch a couple of the fights, see what they do. They don't, and that, otherwise, after that, that's that. I switch, switch off them. Just prepare and, to be the I best just, you. I prepared to get in the ring. I, I prepared to be the best, like you just said there, the best for me you. to be the best, to, to jump in. And then on the night, Southport, oh, sorry, Southport Orthodox, whatever it you is, don't care. you get in and at the end of the day, they're throwing punches at me, I'm throwing punches at them. And you look great today, mate. That was a, a nice little session today. That was a 12 rounds, uh, 12 intense rounds of uh, circuit, bag, pads, everything in there, but at real high tempo. Uh, that was that was tiring just watching, mate. Yeah, it was tiring. We've been getting some good sessions and um, coming out in the last couple, two, three weeks now. I'm feeling, mm -hmm. feeling good. Getting through for you. Yeah, what is it? Two, uh, two weeks? Two weeks Saturday, is it? About two weeks Saturday. Yeah, yeah. two weeks Saturday. Yeah, not long now. <laughs> and when do you fly out to Dubai then? Uh, not too sure. It's a 10th or the 11th or something like so that. So you've probably only got uh, another seven hard days of training then? Yeah, something out like there. Then obviously in Dubai. Tick over, the, well, you know, we won't be doing much training, over, yeah. just plod, really, tick over and over there, punch, put pads and fight. So, this is, this is, this is, must get you excited though, because as an amateur, you, you know, you're a top amateur, you fight the best kids all the time. Um, and you've had those journeymen, you've had some good journeymen as well, you know what I mean? You've mm. asked a few little questions of you, but you've always managed to find the answers. But this is, this is stepping up to eight rounds here. This is step number eight rounds. Um, and a genuine 50 50 fight. This is a genuine 50 50 fight. Um, it's all, to be honest, the 50 50 fight, and it's the way I'm looking at it, I'm going overseas. It's no different if I had to fight in my own backyard here. You've already you've done it once before, on your debut, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. your debut. So it's Where did you go? Um, Belarus. Mm -hmm. Be Belarus, uh, 
so just turned 19. <laughs> so now you're a man now, mate. You're now 23, I'm mate. 20, <laughs> <laughs> fully grown. <laughs> 20, yeah. Grown up, married, and, a, and a, what you call it, a kid as well? A kid, one on the way, so... <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. So you've been busy? <laughs> uh, yeah, so nothing new to me. Um, this, is, this is a 50-50 fight. It's now, this is my 10th fight. I've been waiting for a fight. Mm. So this is it now. I mean, last couple of fights, um, I've been waiting for that news that for for a fight, and I've had a couple. Of, my last couple of fights, just for you, there's been fights. Yeah, there's, there's a couple of win. Yeah, they might not had a couple of them might not have winning records. My last thing, but a couple of win. I've had some good fights. Yeah, but I I haven't boxed myself, so whatever you can see of me on whatever you get on YouTube or things like that, that hasn't been me 100. percent Do you think this is because watching you today, you look tremendously fit? Um, and in fine shape as well, and, and you're not actually fair, you, know, you, you are a super featherweight, but you've took this fight at lightweight, so is that going to benefit you, uh, not having to kill yourself uh, to make in, super featherweight? In, in between super feather and 9-9, and it's about 9-6. Lightweight? Yeah. Oh, so you're in between in 9-6? Yeah. Oh, yeah, so it's perfect for it's, you. It's, it's nothing really. Um, yeah, I'll... T t that way doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I'm just... Just ready now, just waiting, just ready, and I'll have this fight, and then I'm gonna wait and see whatever comes afterwards. Well, hopefully, you know, like you say, the night afterwards, uh, the kid that you should have fought for the central area, if he wins that, um, then maybe, maybe you could be fighting for the English title. You never know, do you? Listen, uh, it could be central area, could be English. It could well, be certainly, in in the new year, that's what you're going to be looking definitely, for. One of those titles, yeah, definitely. Um, I'm not, not, I don't mean to slag any of the lads off or anything mm -hmm. out there, but to me it's shame on the rest of the lads in Britain because I've got to go for a proper fight over overseas for a proper <laughs> fight because no one wants to fight me, so I'm looking well, at I, it. I'm hoping it'll all change that soon. I think it is slowly changing. I think P prospect v prospect is happening more and more often now, and it needs to be because boxing needs that, doesn't it? You know, we need to be excited. We need to know that, you know, if we go to one of our shows, we we're guilty of it to a certain degree. If you bet on Red Corner, you know you're going to come home with a few quid in your pocket. But we want genuine 50-50 fights. That's why the Central Area title fights and English title fights, especially when they're vacant, they, they just... The excitement yeah, they bring the, are brilliant. The, the, do you know something? I think they're the bit of the bit bread and butter, really, in boxing quite some yeah, of you. Yeah, without a doubt. Because I think so, because you've got lads who's wanting to start from the bottom, who's wanting to test themselves, who's wanting to start from there, Climb up there to get themselves up there. Mm. Not like I'm gonna cut myself out. How you do see some of these big managers, promoters do with some of the lads, yeah. but then they get beat by these lads. Yeah, of course, because you, you know get, what I mean? we, listen, we've, we believe you're ready now for those titles, but you have had those great learning fights. The fight with Daryl Tatsuma, you know what I mean? A real danger man on the circuit. You know, these are the fights that you need to prepare you for the fight that you're going into now. So hopefully, uh, when I see you next, uh, towards the, I presume you're going to have one of these shows where the stable mates are on. Uh, will I be looking at you and saying win number 10? 10 and 0. 10 and 0. <laughs> so, there's, like I say, nothing on the line except for bragging rights and uh, putting another W behind your name. Listen, another W on my name. Um, Against an unbeaten kid. An, an unbeaten kid, a good kid, uh, an international lad. So, what, what better does it get, really? Right, well, right. listen, I know you're rushing because you want to get off. You want to sneak out before I got a chance to talk to you. But listen, good luck with the rest of the camp. I know it's near enough all done, but uh, you've got another far hard week of training. And after what I've seen today, I I'm sure I'm sure you'll be coming back victorious. Thank you very much, Lee. Much appreciate it. Take care, Thank Levi. You. Bye, Thank mate. You. For all boxing, info, news and latest interviews, Amateur and Pro, across and off, click on subscribe. VIP, boxing promotions. Also... Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.